I, 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 I want to speak tonight on the subject, the signs of the time, the end of the world, the second coming of Jesus Christ. And I want you to turn with me to the third chapter, beginning at verse 3 of 2 Peter. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days. Now notice that expression, the last days. You'll find it many times in the Bible. The Bible says that there's going to be an X point in history that will be known as the latter days or the last days. Many people think that we're in that period now. Nobody knows for sure. The Bible warns us against speculating on times and seasons and dates. But there is a period of time taught in the Bible that is called the last day. And then the next word is scoffers. Scoffers will come in the last day. Cynics. People who say, oh yeah, God is dead. We can't find God anywhere. We took a trip up in space. We didn't meet God. We didn't meet any angels while we were up there. And there are going to be other scoffers that will scoff at the idea of future judgment, scoff at the idea that Jesus Christ is coming back to this earth again. They'll laugh at the whole idea. Why? The next phrase tells us, walking after their own lust. They don't want Christ to come. They don't want Christ to come and interfere with their way of living. They love their lust. They love their sins so much that they don't want Christ coming and they cannot accept the idea that God is the God of judgment. 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 Now we know that God is the God of love. We know that God is the God of mercy. But the Bible also teaches that God is the God of wrath. He's the God of anger. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord a thousand years and a thousand years is one day. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to us, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But remember this, the day of the Lord is going to come like a thief in the night, in which the heavens will pass away with a great noise, and the elements will melt with fervent heat, and the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Now in this passage of scripture, the Apostle Peter, under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, is underlining something that is taught from Genesis to Revelation. That a day of judgment is going to come. That the world is going to have to stand someday before the judgment of God. You will stand there as an individual. We'll stand there as a nation. We'll stand there as a society to give an account of our stewardship here. Jesus said two shall be in the field, the one taken, the one left behind. Two women will be grinding at the mill, one taken, one left behind. He said you must always be ready, for you do not know what time the Son of Man is coming back. No, we don't know the time, but we read the signs of the times. And the signs of the times would indicate that we're approaching that glorious moment when Christ is going to come back again. When Christ, when Christ is going to come back again. And you know, I've gotten in the habit of going to bed at night and thinking just before I go to bed, what if he should come tonight? Oh, I'd like to see him come. What a day that's going to be.